Hello everyone and welcome to my Arch Linux installation tutorial. My name is Kyle and I just booted the 2009.08 core CD image from archlinux.org. To get this install going I'm just going to log in as root and launch the setup utility that's included with this CD, CD image. Now this is a utility that's going to help us install Arch Linux onto your computer. So the first step is to select your installation source. Um, if you've downloaded the core CD image, you can choose either CD or NET here. Um, if you've opted f to download the NET install CD image, then you have to go with NET here. Um, but I'm just going to go with CD because it's, uh, it's a little bit faster. Normally you would want to set your clock. Um, I'm just going to skip this step though because I know that the clock is correct on this machine. So I'm just going to go on to uh, prepare hard drives. Um, I always use uh, auto prepare. I find that it does a, uh, a fine job of uh, partitioning your hard drive if you have no other operating systems on the disk. Conventional Linux wisdom says that you should use twice as much, or you should um, make your swap partition twice as large as the amount of RAM that you have in your system. I'm going to use X4 as my file system type. X4 is a newer Linux file system. It's a successor, successor to the X3 file system. Okay. Return to main menu. Now it's time to select the packages that you want to install on your system. Now if you're going to be compiling uh, any of your own software or installing packages from the Arch user repository, you should um, include the base-devil group here. But um, just for speed, I'm going to omit it, but uh, you should almost always uh, also select the base-devil group. This is just a list of all the software that uh, has been selected. Uh, note if we would have selected base-devil then these packages would have also been selected. Um, there's some extra packages uh, down here also that you may want to take a look through. And if anything catches your eye, uh, just install it also. Okay, now we're going to install the packages that we just selected. Now I'm just going to speed this up because it takes a while, but uh, you may want to go and grab yourself a drink or something because this, uh, this takes a while. Okay, all the packages have finished installing. Uh, this is just a list, or a, uh, a log output actually, of um, exactly what happened. Okay, now we need to configure our system. I'm going to use Vi. And um, rc.conf is the main configuration file for Arch Linux, so uh, you're probably going to want to take a look in here. Now there's lots of comments explaining exactly what everything is, so you should probably go through and uh, just read all of these um, and change anything that uh, suits your fancy. Um, one of the neat things about Arch Linux is that uh, you can start up system daemons uh, asynchronously, uh, which means at the same time, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't know of any other distribution that uh, allows you to do that. 
It also has a, a simpler uh, init system um, than most other Linux uh, distributions. Um, now I'm not going to touch the rest of these configuration files. Um, if you want to know exactly what they do, uh, maybe go to the Arch Wiki. Um, I'm sure they have a detailed description. Um, just because the default values that come with them are okay, uh, there's no reason to edit them at this time. Unless you specifically uh, know that you need to uh, to edit one of them for some reason. Um, you're almost always going to want to set the root password. And then once, uh, once you've finished editing all your configuration files, um, you are done here. Now the uh, RAM disks are going to be rebuilt again, so uh, maybe go grab yourself a drink, uh, another one, because uh, this uh, usually takes a while. Okay, the last step is to install the bootloader. Okay, so we have to review the grub configuration file just to make sure everything looks okay. Um, if you just have a regular setup, um, like if this was the only uh, operating system you have on this hard drive, then uh, the default configuration will be just fine, but uh, say you have Windows or something, you can uncomment the Windows block and uh, also boot your Windows install from Grub. Um, I don't have anything like that on here, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, always install... Um, I'm going to install mine on slash dev slash sda. Okay. Perfect. So that's it. So uh, reboot into your new Arch Linux uh, installation. Uh, don't forget to eject the CD-ROM and uh, happy hacking.